Hello, welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom, and today I've got these frozen chicken thighs here, and I want to air fry them in the uh, Instant Pot. And I know you said you're not going to air fry anything in the Instant Pot, but oh yes we are. If you have the Instant Pot <coughs> Duo Crisp Plus Air Fryer, like this. And we're going to fry up our chicken thighs and we're going to have them. And I hope it's not going to take us much longer than about 30 minutes to do the whole thing and get them out of this package and put them on the table. Of course, it takes me longer because I'm explaining what I'm doing. So let me get started. We'll see how it goes. Okay, now the first thing we've got to do is see if we can cut this wrapper off this, uh, these chicken thighs here. I don't know. I know I, I've said it before, but I don't know why I didn't think about separating these chicken thighs before I froze them like this. But I didn't, so now we can figure out how to fix them anyway. Okay, now before I do anything else, I'm going to take this measuring cup here and we'll put me just a little bit over a... Everybody says you can use this to cut, but I always like to use just a little bit over a cup of water in it. I'm going to put just a little bit over a cup of water in the Instant Pot here. Okay, now I've got this little wire trivet here. Fits down in here, and I know you're saying that's not the stainless steel pot that comes with the Instant Pot. Well, it's not. That's a ceramic coated one that I special ordered. Well, I didn't special order, I ordered it for the Instant Pot because I don't like stainless steel a whole lot. So, now this is probably four or five fives. We're not sure. We're not sure which one, but we're going to find out in a few minutes because, like I say, now I've got that water down in there. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and put the Instant Pot lid on. And it's got an air on top here and an air right there and they line up. And once they line up you turn them clockwise and it locks into position. And it's locked in there. The nice thing about this one is the button back here right here, it pops up when you put this lid on so you don't have to worry about setting this, your, your little valve back here to seal or vent because it's when this little button pops up it's uh, sealed automatically. And so next thing we've got to do i come over here and hit this pressure cook button and it goes high automatically. It's on 30 minutes here. We don't want it that high. We want the temperature to be, I mean the uh, time to be way on down. Way on down way on down. Alright, seven minutes and then you go hit the start button. Okay now we're just going to cook these for seven minutes with this pressure cooker and it, as you may or may not know it takes a minute before it starts counting down your minutes because it's got to sit here and build up enough pressure before it can get pressurized and start counting down. So when it does that we'll be back. Okay, now it's almost pressurized because the little bubble, uh, the little button right here is getting where it's got bubbles coming out around it and steam coming out around it. So usually that's a good indicator that it's fixing to pop up at any second. Okay, and there it is, popped up right on time there. And that took about eight and a half to nine minutes. So now, as you probably know, if you've got an instant pot, after the uh, button comes up back there it takes another you know two or three minutes for it to uh, start counting down your minutes here so we'll be back when that starts okay and now there you go that took almost two minutes not quite two minutes but almost and so now it's counting down for just seven minutes here and so when it does we'll get back to it and see what we can do to it by the way, if you got a chance, join our channel and give us a thumbs up. We'll sure appreciate it. 
And thank you very much to all you people that uh, watches our videos. It means a lot to us. So we'll be back in a few minutes now. Okay, now we're down, way down under a minute. And I know you're saying, even the Instant Pot's not going to cook that chicken in seven minutes. Well, you're absolutely right. It's not. I really don't want it to. All I want it to do is defrost it up enough and get it un get it unfrozen and thaw it a little bit to where we can work with it some more. And so when this other minute here finishes off, we're going to do something else to it. You just wait and see. It's going to be good. Okay, and now says done. So you come over here. If you're not familiar, familiar with this new uh, lid, come over here and you have this button here. You don't have to mess with the valve back here unless you just want to stand there and hold it and watch it do that. But you come over here and push that button straight down and it just releases the pressure by itself like that. You don't have to get back there and fiddle with it. Okay, now this took less, the pin just now fell. That took less than a minute. That was really super quick. Now, if you notice this right here started counting up, now I gave one of these to my daughter. Well, it's not exactly like this, but it's instant pot. And when it finished, when it re when we released the pressure in that, it didn't start counting up the minutes. So I don't know what the deal with that is. I don't know whether it's defected or that's why that particular model is. But anyway, this one starts counting and lets you know how long it's been in that pot after you release the valve on it. So now we're going to do something else to it. Okay, now with this, with, with all pressure cookers and anything else that has pressure on or steam on the inside of it when you get ready to take the top off, don't never turn it towards your face because it's not going to feel good. You lift it straight up and you shake it loose, turn it away from your face like that and see that steam coming up? That wouldn't feel good if it hit you in the face. Take it over to your sink and turn it right side up. Now if you, if you turn it right side up before you get over to your sink, you're going to have a mess in your floor with water. Now, we're going to get this, see if we can get this chicken out of this pot here. Which is going to be fun. I could get the whole thing out, but I don't want to. I'm going to do it different like this. Ouch! And the pot is hot. There you go. Okay, now I just want to separate these thighs here. Okay, now I'm going to take this Evo uh, oil spray here, and I've got uh, olive oil in here, and I'm going to spray on these when I get ready to put my ingredients on. And I'm going to put this uh, Mrs. Dash on here. I'm going to put this lemon pepper, this Tony's lemon pepper on there. And I'm going to put these Lowry's uh, chicken and poultry rub on there. And I've got a little bit of thyme here I want to put on there. You don't never have enough time, you know. You always run out of time. So anyway, let me get started doing that. So, next thing I want to do is get them dried off and get in this bowl so I can start putting these ingredients on them. So, in order to do that, I'm just going to do one at a time, pick them up like that and pat them real good. And put them right down in the bowl like this. And I want to get me a couple more fresh paper towels and do these other two over here. Okay, and I'll be back. Alright, now the next thing I want to do is I want to spray them a little bit with this uh, olive oil here. And then we'll put on my some Mrs. Dash here. Now this could be some good chicken, folks. You're not going to believe it. And then we'll go put on some uh, lemon pepper here. Go use this uh, Lowry's chicken seasoning here. And I know what you're saying right now. You've just got one side of it cut. You're exactly right. So. 
I almost forgot a little time here. You gotta have a little time in it. Okay, now lay that aside, and now we're going to gloved up now. See, <laughs> so we'll turn these all over good. Just like that. Now we'll come back with my clean hand here, my oil sprayer. We'll spray them again. Now we'll clean this hand. Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Now if you notice, I have two gloved hands here. So now we'll put on some more of this uh, Mrs. Dash. Now we can put on some lemon pepper. I mean, <laughs> Lowry's is chicken season. Then we put on the lemon pepper. Jeez. All I know is I got to put them all on there. It's not going to be just right. So we'll get them all on there. And last but not least, a little bit of time here. And shut everything up. Okay, and I want to get down here with both hands and mix these up real good and make sure all of them have an apple amount on them. I'm going to get ready to cook them. I want them to be just right. clean my hands again and I'll put them in this uh, instant pot over here. Okay now I'm going to put these skin side up because that's the ones I want to look the prettiest. I'm hoping I don't have to turn them. Okay, now we've got them down in there, so the next thing we want to do is come over here. And then we're going to take this, this air fryer lid that comes with this uh, Instant Pot here and set it right straight down on there. Let me turn it this way so you can see it better. Okay, and then we're going to come over here and we'll go hit Air Fry. And it's got for 375 we want to go to 390 and on the time over here we want to go for 25 minutes and then you hit your start button okay now that's going to sit here for a second or two before it actually starts because I guess it just likes to pre-warm itself a little bit and so like I say it'll sit here for just a minute or two and then it'll start up counting down for that 25 minutes Okay, now that sat here for four minutes before it started counting down at 25 minutes. So we'll let it run and run. And so I'm not going to let it go to 425 before I check it because I'll be sticking a thermometer in it way before then. But when I do, I'll let you see. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, now this has been cooking for 14 minutes and we're going to take the lid off just to see, uh, take the temperature of it real quick. And so, of course, when you lift the lid off, it stops heating and cooking right away. And so, take your thermometer and be very careful sticking this down in there because that pot is really extremely hot. Okay, now I'm going to come over here to the, my pot and take my thermometer here and push down this chicken. And you know, it's got to be, you got to try to get right in the middle of the chicken and try not to hit the bone because if you hit the bone you're not going to get a true reading like that uh, 
Okay, now that the temperature on that looks pretty good, but I want it to crisp up just a little bit more. So I'm going to uh, start it back up, and I'm going to turn the temperature up on it to three, uh, 400 degrees, and just go cook it for about five minutes, and we'll be done with it. Okay, now, with the Instant Pot here, if you leave that lid off too long like that, it just cancels everything out and you have to start over, which is no big deal because I know about how long I have to cook in the chicken and I know what I want to do with it now. So, but you have to pay attention to that when you're using this. And so, you come over here and you put, hit air fryer again. And you go up here to the temperature and I'm going to run it up to 400 degrees and on the time down here, We'll bring it all the way down to five. Then we'll hit the start button. Okay, now it shouldn't take but just a minute or two for this thing to uh, start counting down because it's already hot. So we'll be back in about four minutes. Okay, now we're down to 25 seconds here, so we're fixing to take this out and see what it looks like. I already know what it looks like because I peeped in there. I know <laughs> it looks really good and it's crispy and it's done through and through so we're going to get it out in just a minute and take a bite as soon as it cools off just a little bit. Okay and that's the end. The motor's slowing down. It's coasting a little bit. And it stopped. Now, like I said before, now this is the Instant Pot Duo Crisp Plus Air Fryer. And you might want to check in to get one of these if you like to air fry some of your food. You know, like if you want to make some ribs and then uh, bake them a little bit after it's after they're uh, cooked. Oh, don't that look good? You can still hear that sizzling. You hear that sizzling down in there? Oh, I don't want to get the skin off of it. Oh man, that's so nice and juicy looking. Juicy. Okay, now I'm going to cut a little piece off of this one just to see what it's like. And like I said, it's too hot to taste of right now. I want you to look at that chicken. See that? I'm through and through, and it's just as juicy as it can be. That's going to be some good chicken right there, folks. Mm -mm -mm. If you never try these combination seasonings, you ought to give them a try one time. So, let me get this bite right here down and see what it's like. Now as usual I need to add a little bit of salt and pepper to it because I forgot to put any in. But outside that, that's a great piece of chicken. So I hope you'll try this sometime. Go get you a, a Instapot Do a Crisp Plus Air Fryer and fry you up some fried chicken and see how you like it. And so until next time, y'all have a real good and safe day and come back and see us as soon as you can and give us a thumbs up and join our channel if you can now. Till later, goodbye.